everyone, welcome back to our channel, Like of Beauty with me, Shalima. And if this is your first time watching, hi! And I'm a part of a duo, and my other half being Ashri, and we bond over coffee and long walks in the makeup aisle. So that's why we call ourselves a cup of beauty. We usually post every weekend with a sprinkle of surprise video every now and then during weekdays so if you don't want to miss that click subscribe and support us and me and Ashley are going to be traveling to Japan so I think we're going to do uh, some travel vlogs so that's definitely going to be a surprise video within you know within this month or next month um, and in this video I'm going to show you how I pack two weeks worth of clothing inside a carry-on. Yeah, you got that right. Two weeks in a carry-on. As a plus size lady. In transitional weather. What, what? So if you're interested in that, please keep on watching and I will share you, tell you all about my travel hacks and tips. So the first tip will be plan your outfit and there's several keys in planning your outfit yes there's gonna be topic inside the topic this is a topic exception bum, bum. anyway you first you have to check the weather by the time I travel is gonna be mid May until the end of May so it's still spring but it's getting warmer so I bring three outers with different weight and texture so I can alternate um, depending on the weather or on the temperature because sometimes it could be warm but the wind is cold so you have to think about that the second subtopics would be to limit your color palette um, so it's easier to mix and match so you can easily layer also and it will still goes together really well like stick to neutrals or traditional colors like black white uh, beige or gray or navy and then add like a splash of color like for this trip I choose blush and burgundy after you've chosen a color palette try to coordinate your wardrobe by mixing and matching and try as many combinations as you possibly can. I think there's a lot of app for that. You can use Polyvore, you can use um, Stylicious, you can use Stylebook and all kinds of other apps. I just use a traditional way which is writing it down in my journal. Uh, for me, it's easier so I can like figure out when to watch them because I'm just bringing not that many outfits. Last uh, subtopic in this topic is if you can't wear it twice, just leave it behind. Oh yeah, you should also try it on first. Sometimes I find, you know, a certain cloth looks great in the app or looks great in my head, but when I wear it, it's just like, meh, I don't think so. Every tip will be where your bulkiest heaviest item it will free up a lot of space in your suitcase my third tip would be organize your item i like to use a separate compartment for each category like undies and tops and bottoms and that's why packing cubes are very handy but I already organized my stuff even before packing cubes. I used to just put them in like fabric pouches. You could also use a mesh laundry bag or a ziplock or you could just seriously use a cushion case because it is square, it has a zip on it and it's made of fabric. And so you can fit, you know, a lot of things inside. Packing cube doesn't necessarily save space. No, no it doesn't. Sometimes you can save more space by not using it. Because you can just, you know, sort of scatter your stuff around like 
put the socks in the corner and the, the you know the nook thing you could fill that with undies and stuff like that but I don't like that you know that video that gets around in Facebook where you fold the clothes on top of each other and I said that that's a nightmare like how are you gonna find that one top that you wanna wear that day amongst all that you just have to like un unwrap everything and your suitcase is gonna be chaos and the fourth will be minimize to maximize if you know the place you will be staying will provide you with shampoo or and towel or hair dryer just leave all that behind if you are very particular in your skincare or uh, you are just want to be like safe you could still do that and um, instead of bringing full size you should decant it into like a travel size bottle for instance in this trip I just use a Dr. Bronner's because um, I can use it as a face wash, uh, shampoo, soap and also a detergent all in one so I get rid of a lot of bottles and just bring one bottle and then for skincare I just bring sample sizes because uh, I also want to buy some skincare in Japan so I just bring you know enough for like three or five days I also decant my perfume to like a travelo. Tip number five is leave your bag an empty space. Usually I leave almost half of my bag empty but this time I want to prove that you can actually bring an extra shoe, an extra bag and still have a lot of space in your carry-on. Since I don't have as many empty space as I wanted to, um, I bring a extra foldable bag and this one is Ikea Nala series which is perfect for travel because I know I'm going to be doing a lot of shopping. Tip number six is check your tech because uh, different countries have uh, different sort of plugs so it is wise to bring an adapter and even better if you can get like a power strip or a power board so you could um, plug all your gadgets at the same time instead of bringing uh, multiple adapters and um, if most of your techs are USB based you could also bring like an adapter like this one I have which has four USB plug inside and has interchangeable plug head and then tips number seven is put your pajamas on top along with uh, fresh undies as soon as you arrive in your hotel or hostel or Airbnb you want to change whatever clothing you have on that day into a comfy one where you can relax and you shouldn't be like rummaging through your suitcase just for that one pajama because who has time for that and this is a bonus tip chuck a tiny bar of soap inside your suitcase or backpack and it will keep uh, the smell of your suitcase fresh which is awesome i hope you find this video useful and if you do don't forget to give a thumbs up and share and subscribe and um if you have questions on any of the packing tips don't forget to comment below or you could just tell me where you are planning to go next and um whether or not you want to see travel videos from us or any other kind of video that you want to see us making while we're in Japan just leave your comment below I'm gonna be really excited in reading that and um, I hope to see you in our next video bye